Florida Republican Governor Ron DeSantis has been locked in a long-running dispute with Walt Disney Company, one of his state's largest taxpayers. The controversy began when Disney executives expressed opposition to what critics call Florida's Don't Say Gay Law, which prohibits classroom discussions of gender identity and sexual orientation. In response to the criticism, DeSantis sought to remove Disney from special taxing district status under which it could develop and operate its theme parks relatively independently. He also created a new board to oversee the district and elect its members. Then Disney's lawyers betrayed him by making a deal with his allies. As part of the deal, the company largely retained control of the district, and the new board was rendered essentially powerless. The dispute continued, and the new government canceled the contract at the request of DeSantis. Most recently, Disney sued DeSantis and the board over the company's targeted campaign to impose government power. DeSantis is believed to be gearing up for a possible 2024 presidential campaign, but his efforts to chastise Disney for a revival have caused some political headaches, as potential GOP primary opponents including former President Donald Trump and former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, have used the fight to attack him. Right now, DeSantis is probably too deep to pull out.